hi guys you guys are welcome back to my channel how are you doing i hope you guys are good so i just felt like um you guys haven't heard my voice in a long time and i know some people you may see my voice yes then before this video starts i just want to mention this that nelly is beautiful like uh, someone said he doesn't know if it's pos camera that people that uses but since i've been seeing these housemates or more they're on a different level of beauty so guys enjoy this one at least one interview that was not asking all these their normal question it got boring at some point so see you guys in my next one bye if the way your skin is glowing for me, you look so good. <laughs> Hi, Sage. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. How are you doing, Sage? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Nelly? I'm fine, thank you. So I see someone. I'm, I'm seeing someone comment, "Hello, Chef Nelly." How does it feel to be called Chef Nelly? <laughs> But that's who I am. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah. so we don't have a lot of time, so let's just get into the conversation. Let's talk about your different experiences in the house. I'm going to start with you, Nelly. How exactly would you rate your experience in the house? Mm. My experience was very graceful. <laughs> Ooh, graceful, okay. Yes, I had a very amazing experience. Mm. Okay, okay, that's and nice. And I enjoyed the whole process, so... You enjoyed the whole process? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. What about you, Sage? How exactly would you rate your experience? Ah, she took the words out of my mouth. I, I always use the word graceful because ah, okay. watch my journey. <laughs> it was, that was the typical way. That's the only way I could describe it. It was nothing short of God's grace. From so start to it was, it, was, it was just graceful for you? Yeah, it was graceful. I, I I enjoyed every bit of time I spent there, social experiments. I went there with the mindset of learning. I learned, I lived, I experienced the entire journey from start to finish, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Not everybody witnessed it till the very end, but I was opportune to have that experience of how it felt to be in the finale and to close the show. Okay. So, so um, did you... I, I know that everyone who goes into Vicky's house hopes to be in the final. Okay, but I think I've spoken to some people and they're like, mm, I didn't really think I was going to make it to the finals. But let's talk about you two right now. I'm going to start with you, Nelly. Did you ever envisioned, envision that you'd be in the finals? Did you ever, was there something that you think that you did that, you know, earned you, you know, to be in the, fi the finals? Is there something in the mix? Like, what exactly, how, let me just say this. How exactly did you feel making it to the finals? Okay, first off, I was very excited because at some point in the house, I was doubting myself. You know, the house, I uh, me set a goal for. Ooh, we said, we said, even if we're okay. going to leave, we have to leave on the very last day. If we're not winning, let's just leave on the last day because we just need to experience everything. So um, seeing it come to pass and seeing it happening, I was really excited that we were both there together. I mean, it's something we prayed about. So I was very happy to see that come true. What What about you, Suj? How did it feel making it to the finals? It felt amazing. Like anyone that was watching could see how excited was when it got announced that look like you had ex ex escaped the nominations and you're the second person to officially go into the finale so it was amazing for me coming in i didn't really have i didn't really set any expectations i think my mind was just bent on don't leave the first week at least like let me get enough time to showcase myself show my potential show um, the world what i have to offer what lies within just project myself to the best of my abilities and just don't leave that first okay. place. So after okay, first so, Okay, uh, so do you did you did you feel fulfilled? Did you feel fulfilled, you know, being in the house and you announced that you're out? Do you feel like you really gave um the, the, the viewers a show? Do you do you think that? Yeah, most definitely most definitely. I was myself from start to finish and I feel like a lot of people coming out to see the love. Um, it's clear that people resonated with me, resonated with my character, 
and yeah they were proud of what i had to offer and they were proud of what i gave so yeah i fully believe that i did well i did well what about you nelly is there something that you think that you didn't do is there something that you think you didn't complete in the house i mean of course you made it to the last day but is there something that um before the house you told yourself that you were going to do and that you didn't do in the house no going into the house my main aim was to promote my brand food supports and um, to show the whole world how how good i am and i think i did that yeah my my brand is on everybody's lips right now so yeah how does, how, how does it feel being famous how does it feel <laughs> i mean i mean i know that you haven't really like um gotten into it at, I, don't, I don't think you have really but i mean there's been like a little time and some days have gone and i mean you are nelly of the no loose guard house and this is a lot of it's a lot of fame okay how does it feel like is there something different is the air up there different just tell me about it um i don't know what to say i feel like um it's just i'm still trying to pro um, like process the whole thing because Yesterday, I wanted to go get something from the supermarket, and on oh, the second wait, call, you still I, go out? Like, how many bodyguards? That's do you the thing. Go I've out? never, I've, I haven't actually gone out <laughs> since he came out, but I needed something. So when I wanted okay. to go, my friend was like, "No, you can't go in. You have to wait so I can get to." I was like, "Why?" He said, "Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying." <laughs> And then because I understand sorry. the fact that you may be used to, you know, going out. Yeah. But then after the house and understanding that everyone recognizes you now, it might be a little different. I mean, you might try to be yourself, but I don't think it's possible anymore. <laughs> but I mean, you're a lady. So let's just listen from Suj. Suj, have you tried to go out and buy something? Like, how exactly is this fame treating you? Um, like, for me, I'm just taking each day as it comes, man. I'm, I'm really not thinking too much about it. Um, okay. I'm used to it. I'm just taking it all in each okay. day at the time. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So let's talk about your experiences in the house. Was there a task that was really, what, uh, what would you say is the most outstanding feature of BB Niger that you experienced? What's that thing that you really, really loved in the house? I'll start with you, Nelly. Okay. Um, okay. Um, the sponsor tax it was quite um, challenging like you just have to like figure out your try to find yourself and you have to be another thing about the house you just have to be mentally ready for anything that's coming to you so uh -huh. um, being in the house um, not knowing what will happen in the next minutes okay. is actually another thing so you just have to be prepared at any time to deliver okay so that was because on a normal day outside world you just they just have to like give you a notice of something mm. like oh you need to do this okay you need to do okay. that and can, you prepare. Me, can you hear me Suj? yeah I hear very well Ooh, the network is really bad can you hear me oh nelly can you hear me yes very well okay okay i think the network is really really giving us issues Suj, can you hear me Yes, I can. Okay, okay. So this question is for the both of you. If you could change anything in Bibi's house, what would you change? If you could change anything on the show, what exactly would you change? I'll start with you, Suj. What exactly yeah. would you change? If you have the power, or let's just say... The network was cutting you. I didn't really get that clearly. Okay, okay. So I'm saying... If you had the chance to change anything in Biggie's house, what would you change? Because you're someone, you guys have experienced the house firsthand. And for all of the contestants that I have interviewed, they're like, um, we don't really understand what the house is like because we're not really inside the house. So as someone who has stayed in the house from the first week to the last week, what's one thing that you would say that you would change if you were in a position to change stuff to change any yeah um i feel like that's taking away the entirety of what the experience should be and what the entire social experiment is about okay is coming to the house and just experience the whole, whole journey go through those emotions go through those trials go through those challenges mm -hmm. 
see how we react in those situations. And so me wanting to change the thing is is going to it's going to make a ripple effect onto how the experience should be. All right, all right. What about you, Nelly? What would you change? Mm, no, nothing actually, because um, the whole experience for them to put everything up like that, um, like you know, it's a social experiment. So I believe they actually wanted to like have us have the taste of everything that's in the house. With all the twists and all, turns. Okay. Yeah, but if I'm to change anything, trust me, that morning alarm. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> I, <laughs> I need to. <laughs> I mean, come on, you're not in your house. You have to wake you up to do stuff. No, no, you can wake me up with a different alarm, but that one yeah. is so annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. my god, you just okay. just wake up with a long face. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Speaking about them, I'll probably just pull light switches. So if if, if your the alarm sounds, then somebody can turn on the light. Not me waking up, <laughs> lights, lights flashing right, into my right, right. Right. Okay. So we don't have a lot of time, but I wish we had so much time because I have a lot of questions to answer to of you. But let's talk about this shoe. Let's talk about it okay. because it's literally on everyone's lips. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let us talk about it. Um, what's in the future for Nelly and Sus? Not just Nelly, but I'm going to ask about Nelly and I'm going to ask about Sus. But what's in the future for Nelly? And so is there going to be a stronger bond? Is there going to be some? I don't know. I don't know. You guys spoke the tea for me. I'm going to start with you, Suj. Yeah. What's in the future? Yeah. Definitely, the bond is going to be stronger. I mean, that's the whole essence okay. of what we're doing. Building stronger bonds, getting to understand ourselves better, stronger. And yeah, we're just moving with God's pace. So yeah, understanding ourselves. Mm, okay, I like that. Okay, okay. What about you, Nelly? Tell us something. Like he said, the ministry is moving to the permanent site. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's move on, on to um, industry-wise. I mean, right now you guys are famous in the creative industry. I mean, you just came out of the Baby Niger House. What's in the future for you as a brand, Nelly? What's mm. in the future? Okay, I'm working on my um, restaurant, so I plan on having a walk-in and also um, go back to creating my food content. And um, yes, I'm also an event planner and um, in the entertainment world, anything come acting, anything, I'm just open to new opportunities. So right now, I have an open arms like this. I want to embrace all the opportunities you can bring more <laughs> <laughs> so you're open to anything as long as it has to do with putting yourself oh, out there okay of course okay. yeah what about you suit what's in the future well for me i've always been i think i sang this like mm -hmm. a song that i don't mean to sound like a broken record but i have to my mm -hmm. passion for sports not going anywhere Sports is one thing I've always been passionate about, and that's the sector that I'm looking to tackle head on. So you can see me in industries, both international and local, planning on expanding and building in sectors like the NFL, NBA, even the Nigerian Federation as well. So those sectors, those are places, are key places I'm looking to face. Because if, let me, let me just give you some more history. Uh, Typically, in Africa, Nigeria has the highest number of um, African players with Nigerian heritage that are currently playing in the league yeah. in the NFL. So yeah. it would be nice if to it would be nice having players that are rooted directly in Nigeria being placed from here into the league, not just having the background of studying abroad, but the people that are skilled in Nigeria here having taken from here, from the roots themselves, mm -hmm. and put in those positions, because Nigerians are very, very skilled. There's a lot of talent. Even the ones there, they are dominating as well. Yeah. So it's only here. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. I, mean, I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much, guys. Entertainment. Okay. As well. 
All right, all right. I mean, I know, I know that this is like your project. This is what something that you want to do. But of course, you have this fame, so I'm sure that lots of people in the creative industry are going to come your way, and they're going to, you know, want you to do something. Are you open to acting? Is that something that you're thinking of doing? Yes, yeah, definitely. I am open to acting. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Nelly. Thank you so much, Suge, for coming on this live with me, giving me all this gist and feeling so see thank you so much for coming You're welcome. and of course i wish you success in all your endeavors and of course i can't wait to see you guys on the big screens and just be a stronger bond thank you so much for coming on this live with me have a nice day thank you bye